Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So <laughs> in honor with what I said in my last video, I am going to try to get a whole lot more of these YouTuber collabs out there because you know I noticed that the only YouTuber things I'd really use were like Jeffrey and Laura and Jacqueline and I really want to start using smaller YouTubers like palettes and stuff. So today we dove into the It's My Ray Ray palette and it has got contours, highlights, eyeshadows, whole nine yards. So when you open it up your first part is going to be three contours and three highlights really good for fair medium and deep skin tones and then you open it up one more time you've got a mirror on top and then you've got eyeshadows right here you've got a pretty nice assortment of colors shimmers down here mattes up there and yeah that's the palette I mean it is definitely unique it's definitely got a little bit of everything in it which is incredible because, you know, it's pretty rare to find, like, a palette that's got, like, a whole contour and highlight and an eyeshadow. I don't know that I've ever had a palette with all that. And it's only, like, $25 because BH Cosmetics is super affordable. And, y'all, I just gouged it out with my nail. Oh, my heart's a little broken. Okay. But this is what we are going to go over today. We did a nice little neutral eye with it. And just to pop everything off, I added some crepe finds soul snatcher onto my lips because i needed something to be bright about me today so that is what we've got i can't wait for y'all to watch and uh yeah here we go with your tutorial okay so since this palette has everything in it we are just going to start over here with the contour and highlight this is actually really nice it's got you know everything from light to deep skin tones um we're gonna go ahead and lightly use mocha this medium contour right here and try to do it lightly because i think kai is going to be a little bit too light for me and i always use a big fluffy brush when i contour so we're just gonna go in Okay, and there is no blush in here, but I'm not the world's biggest fan of blush anyways. So we are just going to skip that step. We are going to take our Morphe M501 and we are going to go into Moonlight and go ahead and highlight the high points of our face and see what kind of blonde and glow we can get out of this. So that's pretty blinding, I'm not going to lie. Definitely like that. It's got more of a gold tint to it than I expected. But it is definitely pigmented, that's for sure. So now we are just going to go ahead and do some neutral-ish eyes. I might add a little pop of something in there. But <clears throat> we are going to take... Oh goodness, this is so hard to read. Okay, we are going to take Pancake right here and use that as our first little transition shade. And I'm going to take it on a big fluffy brush just to get it all in the crease. Okay, so after Pancake, we are just gonna go into oh I can't really read these okay we're gonna go into control freak right here beside pancake and take that and do the same thing well almost beside pancake okay so after that color I just want to go into midnight right here and I'm going to take a more precise littler brush and put that in the inner corner outer corner 
Sorry, guys. Okay, so that does it for the crease. I really just want something like super, super neutral, really pretty. These blended really well. So now I'm going to go into Allison right here and pop that on my lid. Okay, and for the inner corner, I'm going to take a pop of Angel right here and stick that in the inner corner. Alright, and then for my lower lash line, I want to put a tiny pop of color. So I am going to take Tiffany, this red shade right here, and pop that in my lower lash line. Okay, so that is it for these eyes. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of liner and such, and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so y'all know I had to brighten this look up with some Soul Snatcher because why not? But we've got some liner and lashes and a nice bright lippy to go with this neutral eye. So here we go. Thoughts on this palette. <clears throat> okay, so the contour I used worked really well, blended out nicely, even though like I am extremely fair and I mean, it still worked really well for me. It doesn't look way too dark or too muddy. This highlighter is so pigmented. Like as soon as I put it on, like even before the light really hit it, I could see how blinding it was. So this is really nice and the other two look like they will be just as good, but I am too fair for those. But this is really good. That way every skin tone has got something in here they can use. Okay, so then for our eyeshadows, um, I didn't use a whole bunch of them, but the ones I did use, they blended out really well. They were super pigmented, and the shimmers are just so pretty, like it's unbelievable. Like these literally just went on so smooth and so like metallic, I couldn't believe it. It was amazing. So. Overall, I'm going to say that this palette is definitely really good. Um, this makes the second BH Cosmetics thing I've ever used. Definitely, definitely love it. This is a great palette. You know, if you need something to travel with, this is going to have your contour, your highlight, and your eyeshadow. So that's going to cut down on some things that you would need to take with you when traveling. So I think that is an awesome kind of thing to add into this palette. It is less than $25 or maybe right at $25, which is not bad at all because you get a contour highlight palette plus an eyeshadow palette with a nice mirror and it is good to travel with. Pretty sturdy. I mean, I'd be a little careful with it, but definitely an amazing palette. So uh, that is it for today's video. Told y'all I had another YouTuber collab coming. So I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye you guys.